back to Horsepower Hobby. I am Torque, and in today's video, we're going to answer some questions about my C5 Corvette. The most important being, how much did I pay for this Corvette? Let's get right into it. I did purchase the vet. Horsepower Hobby. So for all of you that have been watching for a little while, know that uh, I kind of headed out on a quest. I guess thanks to you guys because you requested a C5 Corvette come to the channel. So I headed out on a quest to find a C5 Corvette. And I looked at a couple of them that I did show on camera. I looked at a couple of them off camera as well. But uh, the ones that I found on camera, one being what I thought was the cheapest one in my area, uh, ended up getting gone and it did need interior. I mean, the car ran pretty good. Had a little bit of, a, I guess, an issue going on when you kind of, I guess, got on it pretty good. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. It's almost like the, the rear end of something was kind of shifting a little bit. It was, was kind of weird. But, um, ended up going down to Georgia which is a couple of hours from me and picked up this Corvette that I'm currently driving Corvette that I ended up purchasing is a 2004 C5 Corvette. Now, uh, the car, as you can see, the interior in it is in very, very good shape. Um, it does have a few hiccups, a few bugs, like it has some issues going on where the windshield wipers periodically would just sporadically come up and stay up in the middle of the windshield um, after turning the car off for a short period of time they will go back to their normal resting place but uh has little issues like that uh, of course the turn signals do hyper flash in it as you can see turn signal there hyper flash and it does it on that side as well um but other than that i mean the car runs and drives as you can hear it has plenty of power overall it's a really really good buy I ended up once again buying the cheapest one in my area that was available um, the car does have about hundred and seventy two thousand miles which my opinion is not bad for an LS motor I've seen a video here recently where JR's garage purchased one and they got a really really good deal on theirs but it had over a half a million miles on it uh, so these engines have proven to be very, very reliable, and there's actually, once charging the battery, crank and run, so once again, very, very good. Um, I was told also that there's one with 700 and some thousand miles in the Corvette Museum. Might take a trip there one day and check it out. But um, overall, I mean, this car has been very, very good. I mean, 
not an issue other than the ones that I named, and no major issues, rather. My original intent for this car was to, after purchasing it, uh, eventually pull the motor, pull the transmission and all drivetrain and kind of do all I build on it. Uh, still planning on kind of doing that over time, but uh, right now I'm wanting to, I guess, supercharge it or turbo it where we can get the most power that we can out of this LS1 engine that it currently has before we move on to, you know, bigger and better things later on down the road. But, um, with saying that, the mileage on the car didn't really bother me, you know, by having 172,000 miles on it. Uh, like I said, these cars are very, very reliable, and the other side to it is, like I said, I wasn't going to keep this same drivetrain in it long term. Now, I'm still trying to figure out whether to turbo this current LS1 engine or to, uh, I guess, supercharge it. So, I'd like to hear you guys' comments down in below on what your thoughts are there. And I would like to thank you all for helping me reach the first milestone of 1,000 subscribers on the channel. Uh, very, very thankful, very, very grateful to all those that have watched a Horsepower Hobby video and that continue to watch it and support the channel. Some videos ago, I took this car to a tuner and we put the car, I guess, on his, uh, hooked it up rather to his laptop and he tweaked and tuned. I showed you guys in the video there. So we were able to get about maybe 20 more horsepower out of this, you know, currently naturally aspirated engine. And so, and he actually changed the shift point of the transmission as well. And kind of dialed in the fuel map and all that stuff. So the car runs very, very well. So I'm very, very pleased with the purchase of this vehicle. When looking for a Corvette, I was originally intending on making it a track car. Uh, something to just kind of take to the drag strip. Um, after purchasing, I kind of had second thoughts about it because I'd like to also be able to street it. Uh, there's a lot of fun opportunities on the street. We just leave it at that. But, uh, and so because I was considering making it just an all out track car, I was searching for an automatic transmission car. So the one I ended up purchasing is an automatic car. The plans was to, I guess, put a power glide transmission in it once we built whatever engine we were going to put in it later on down the road. Um, may not be the case now. Uh, we're still considering putting a built transmission in it so that it can be able to hold up to whatever horsepower we put behind it. But uh, may not be putting the power glide in after all because it's not very street friendly. Also, in the very, very near future, I will be changing the color of this C5 Corvette. I do like the silver. Just want something a little more, I guess, eye-catching. So, if you guys could, down in the comment section below, tell me what color you would mind seeing the car. I'm, th I'm considering wrapping it or painting it. Um, I have, I guess, an opportunity to do both at a very, very good price, just depending on which one I want to go with. So, I've been considering some colors, but just let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. So, to answer the question that you've all been wondering, how much did I pay for the C5 Corvette? I'm about to answer that question for you right now. So, I paid $6,300 for the C5. And my opinion, it was the cheapest one that I could find in my area. So I thought that I did very, very well, especially considering that the interior is, you know, very, very good shape. Um, like I said, I looked at some in the past that that wasn't the case. I mean, it had torn interior and uh, the interior would need to be completely gutted and replaced. But that wasn't the case here. So um, everything's here in this car. Nothing's missing. No knobs are missing. I mean, everything just functions as it should. Other than, like I said, the, the issue with the windshield wipers. And I did have an issue in the past with the headlights, but that has since been taken care of. So, so far with this car, I think I have about maybe $6,700 into this whole setup. I mean, that's with all the paperwork involved with, you know, getting titles and everything transferred. So, I mean, it's not bad uh, so far. But like I said, we plan on doing some more stuff to it and taking it above and beyond with this build. So, so far, this C5 has been amazing. Like I said, with the exception of a few little minor hiccups, but I've actually enjoyed it. I mean, it actually performs well. You've seen the uh, performance, uh, or rather how it performed against my 05 Cummins 
so I mean that's a lot to be said there so it actually does really really good uh, but we're looking to see where we can take this build so in the near future the color will be changing we will be uh, either supercharging or turboing we still have to make our mind up on that one but uh, I hope that you guys continue to follow this build along the way and if you haven't subscribed already do hit that subscribe button also hit the like button and push notification bell and until next time <laughs>